everybody my name is Sue and welcome to my channel today I'm joining the crazy craft obsession rainbow magic YouTube and Instagram hop can you guess what color it is for this month yellow absolutely and I was really excited because I wanted to get stuck into using some of my 49 and market spectrum sherbet papers so this is the base page I'm going to use now that one is called, um, it's a painted foundations kaleidoscope. Now I'm really sad because the other side is such a beautiful page. So I'm definitely sad I'm missing out on that. But this is my base page that I'm going to work with. Also bringing in, I'm thinking of bringing in some of my remnants, some different um, rub-ons from 49 and Market. I've looked into my stash and I've brought all my yellow things out. So I've got some different enamel dots and buttons. Not sure if I'll use them yet. Now, also I'm going to get rid of these um, particular flowers. They've been in my stash probably 15 years or so. And I've looked at some other bits in my stash. And also some of the little icons from one of the uh, ephemera packs from Spectrum Sherbet. Also, I'm going to use some of my four inch wings washi tape um, it's a beautiful washi tape roll and I'm going to color it up yellow because I really want to get some of that washi tape used up also got some Bella Boulevard puffy stickers with little flowers and hearts I might use some of those some more tickets I've decided that I want my heading to be you are sunshine um, goes obviously with the colour theme but also as these are the photos I'm picking she really is a bundle of sunshine so I'm using two different types of letters the simple stories colour vibe foam stickers and also these from creative memories which I have probably had in my stash since I first started scrapbooking over 20 odd years ago so I really getting to do a bit of smash, uh, stash busting and what I did is I chose the, the letters and the titles to make sure that I had the words I wanted to use before I started. So I'll put them aside for later. This was the ephemera pack that I opened to pull out some things which I've got over here. So I can also put that away for now. Also might be using, these are some more rub-ons. And I really like this Simple Stories Retro Daisy. So I think I'm going to start with that on my page. And I might do it with two things. I might use some of my Distress Ink in Squeezed Laminate. And I think I may also use one of my texture pastes. I think this one because it's got a bit of a shine to it. And as you can see, it's a little softer than this bright. The bright might be a bit in your face. So let me just softly use this well i'm going to get a piece of scrap paper because if you put it directly on the stencil when you first do it it can be quite harsh and i just want this layer here to be quite soft i want to be able to see it but i don't want this to be in your face sort of i'm trying to build a few layers this is one of my goals is to to layer it up a little bit better. I love my mixed media, but I'm wanting to do a little bit more layers. No, I might do over here a little bit. Right. It's also taking off, because some of this um, page has actually got quite orange tones and I really want to sort of highlight the yellow tones just a little bit there all right so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this color blast color paste and this yellow this yellow is called sunshine how apt is that I'm 
This is a beautiful creamy texture paste, which I'm now wearing all over my fingers. And I always prefer to use a little spatula. It's just a bit of a clean up job. All right. So let's start over here. I'm just very organic. I don't want to be doing it, you know, so it ends in a box shape. I'm trying to keep myself going in one direction only. Sometimes that's a bit harder. Especially the smaller stencils I find. Because you really got to work it in to get it on all the sides. But try not to overwork it too much. Because then you get leakage underneath. But, you know, if that happens a little bit, I don't get too fussed because mixed media is meant to be a bit messy after all. Now, you can probably tell my voice is a little bit croaky. I'm recovering from COVID, so please excuse my croaky voice. And also, if I have to start coughing, I'll do my best not to. Happy with that. And where else do I want to put it? Maybe a little bit up here. This texture paste dries reasonably fast. So while I'm getting some other things sorted, I think it will dry quite quickly. Especially as I've got the fan on. Now I've got a lot of stuff on the back of my, my spatula and I find a lot of people try and squeeze it in. I find it actually works better to scrape it off and start afresh. You get a better finish and less leakage. Alright. And I really think a little bit up the top there. Just cover that orange. Beautiful. I'm happy with that. And if you're clever, you'll go wash that straight away. But of course, I'm busy doing my live. I'm just going to go pop it on a, a nappy wipe and put another one on top. That way it won't go hard on me and um, I can take care of it once I've finished. Now, I'm going to put this aside and just let that dry. Get rid of this so I don't make a mess everywhere. All right, now next thing I'm going to do is colour my washi tape. I think I want a nice big long strip of this. little cutter in the box but I'm actually looking for a um, <clears throat> less severe finish so tearing it works perfectly for me. I am going to get my distress ink again and actually I think I'm just going to go like this direct. I really want this colour to come on there. And just make sure that it's worked in. Okay, let's get a lift a corner up here. Hopefully that works. Absolutely. It is washi tape after all. I'll just give that a wipe, get it off my table. Now, I really liked this pink um, mat. I had a green one. I bought this pink one. It's pretty. The only problem is it gets really dirty. 
So, you know, that's not a good thing. Uh, and I might just tear the whole edge here. And I think I might tear both edges actually. No, just the one. So I'll put this aside ready to use when I need it. How's my texture paste? It's coming along. The fan's definitely helping. So let me have a look at what I've got here and have a bit of a plan as to what I'm doing. I think I might use the whole one in the corner. And what have I got? I did spot this one earlier, so I'm thinking I might use that to use as a bit of a photo mat. Now, I'm going to tuck this one in here as well. And I picked out some of these tickets because they're just a perfect colour. So I'm sort of just having a bit of a dry run just to, to test what I might want to do. And I did sort of have a bit of a play earlier and I think down the bottom of my layout I've got this lovely little word that says love your smile. Move that up so you can see that. And um, that's only half a flower and I've got the other half up here which I might put up the top. Maybe in the corner that might go. And a life with you is amazing. Certainly was never boring, that's for sure, with my little girl. I put this little... So I'm actually quite happy with how that comes across. And then I can fill any blank spots with any of these different um, things. So, I think I might actually start off by building this cluster. Now, I think I will be using my... I'll try this to see if that will work. Perfect. And I really think that I might move that off. So that I uh, has a bit of dimension to it because I don't want it all to be completely flat. All right. Now, tweezers really come in handy when it comes to putting two dimensional tape dimensional tape. And I might just need a little bit more. This really thin tape, I think I got this from Uniquely Creative and it's really great when you've got things you want to mount up that are very small, so you don't have to spend a lot of time cutting. It's cut very thin for you. You know, I do like to make my life easy. Okay. The hardest part is getting off the, the tape on the bottom. I couldn't do it without my tweezers. All right, flatten that out and pop love your smile. So when I when this is all dry, this can sit down the bottom. All right, I think that's dry enough for me to just lightly work with the things I want to use. All right. Let's put this washi tape on. Oh, 
I'm covering that a bit further over here. So we're starting to get a couple of layers, a little bit of dimension, and a lot of the yellow in there. Well, the yellow is still coming off of that washi tape. Maybe it will continue to do so. I'm just going to rub over it gently with a, a wipe so that it's not too greasy. Maybe a quick hit with the heat gun. We dry that a little bit quicker. That heat gun I've had for I'd say 30 years and I think it's done me very very well. It's what I first bought when I first got introduced to stamping. I started stamping because it was going to save me money. Ha 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 what a joke that was. But I'm certainly enjoying the creative process. All right let me stick this together here. I think I will pop that underneath there. I really don't want that hole to stick out, so I'm going to pop that there. Perfect. We'll stick this together here. I may need to go back and put some glue underneath that, but I will check that out when I get a chance. I like the look of that. He's going to go just here, but I might need to move him up a little. on the edge and then this can go a little bit higher so that it's not coming off the page. Now I'm going to tuck him under the top there. And as there's not been much mixed media in the area that I'm sticking this down, I can I'm happy to use my my a tape runner. But if I was sticking it directly over where I had my flowers, I would be a little bit more cautious and perhaps using a wet glue as well. I think I meet in the brief about it being yellow. Except I think I did him a bit too straight. This is a picture of my daughter Jade when she was little. I um, only found these photos looking when I emptied my parents' house, found them in a whole box of photos. And I think they're just absolutely gorgeous. Now, 
be putting these on the top. And I'm going to put that right in the corner. So I will have to cut some off, but I'm happy to do that. And the little words, life with you is amazing. So all of these little tickets and stuff are from the 49 and Market Spectrum Sherbet. All the other stuff is from my stash. And like I said, most of it's pretty old. So I'm thinking I might put you are, which I might put you, and then the are, and then I'll have the sunshine. So bend up the wings a little bit and I'm just going to put glue on the little centre bit. I really want the butterfly flying in towards her because she is the one that's the sunshine. Alrighty. Now, I don't know, I always like a bit of spatter on my pages. So I'm just going to cover up the photos. Just going to shake up my marker stain now Cass will tell me off for shaking because she says it gets blocked but I find they get blocked one way or another anyway and I really want to get all that mica off the bottom so that it's all in alright so I love a bit of splatter, just especially in the spots where there's, of course the splatter always goes where you don't want it to go as well. Okay, let me give that a quick clean up around there. Now, the question is, as I'm waiting for that to dry, do I want to put any of these little flowers from Bella Boulevard on there? I love these. I've bought them in a few colours and haven't used them yet. So part of me feels that I really should. So, I might hide one under there. And then a little one here. With a little love heart. I might do the same over here in this little segment. Might go for a darker coloured love heart. And flower. Now, I really don't have a story to tell because I wasn't even present when this photo was taken. But I just think my title tells it all. It is one of my goals to do more journaling and more writing. 
of these, but I just don't think I have much to say about this. And we'll do the same up here. Or maybe one here, not. Ooh. They're sticky. They take the paper with them. And a little flower. And this little flower. Alright, so the only thing left I reckon for me to do is to cut off the little bits off the end here. So I get my big Tim Holtz shears with a beautiful soft grip handle and it just cuts that off so easily. Alright. So there you go, there's my layout. Sorry about the glare. Thank you very much for watching my video and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.